Welcome to study room. This is fourth series on Pure Guide part one. If you have not watched our previous series, please watch all the series on Pure Guide part one, which will be very helpful for your exam preparations. Thank you. Question number one: Blind literature packets are exempted from payment of this fee. Option A: Registration fee. Option B: Fee for acknowledgement. Option C, payment of postage. Option D, all the above. The correct answer is option D, all the above. Question number two. Blind literature packets are not exempted from payment of this fee. Option A, registration fee. Option B, fee for acknowledgement. Option C, payment of postage. Option D, air surcharge. The correct answer is option D, air surcharge. Question number three. Blind literature can contain option A, braille script, option C, option B, CD containing blind literature, option C, periodicals in braille script, option D, all the above. The correct answer is again all the above. Question number four. Blind literature cannot contain communication except Option A, table of content. Option B, key or instructions to use special type. Option C, label for return of packet. Option D, all the above. The correct answer is all the above. Question number five. Blind literature claiming concession in postage should have inscription on top of the outside cover as option A, blind contents. Option B, Literature for the blind. Option C. Free transmission for blind. Option D. Special transmission for blind. The correct answer is option B. Literature for the blind. Question number 6. How the blind literature should be posted by a person? Is it in a closed cover or open cover? Option A. Blind literature always in a closed cover and content should be declared. Option B. Blind literature always in closed cover and superscription literature for the blind and the cover is enough. Option C. Blind literature should be posted either without a cover or in a cover open at both the ends which can easily be removed for the purpose of examination. Option D. Blind literature should be sent through transparent closed cover. The correct answer is option C. Blind literature should be posted either without a cover or in a cover open at both ends, which can easily be removed for the purpose of examination. Question number 7. Maximum weight of the blind literature can be Option A, 7 kg, Option B, 10 kg, Option C, 4 kg, Option D, no weight limit. The correct answer is option A, 7 kg. Question number 8. Minimum weight limit of blind literature should be option A, 50 grams, option B, 20 grams, option C, 7 kg, option D, no minimum weight limit. The correct answer is option D, no minimum weight limit prescribed. Question number 9. The dimension of blind literature can be Option A. Same as letter. Option B. Same as book packet. Option C. Same as parcel. Option D. No dimension limitation for blind literature. The correct answer is Option B. Same as book packet. Question number 10. Plates bearing a character of writing sound records for the use of blind and disc films, tapes, and wires on which spoken message for the blind have been recorded when sent by or addressed to an officially recognized institution for the blind shall be treated as blind literature. This clause is given as exception to Option A. Size and dimension clause Option B. For inspection clause Option C. For postage clause Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option A, size and dimension clause. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इन केस ऑफ ब्रीच ऑफ कंडीशन इन ब्लाइंड लिटरेचर फाउंड पोस्टमास्टर शुड टैक्स इट बाय कंसीडर डेरिंग इट एस ऑप्शन ये लेटर ऑप्शन बी पार्सल ऑप्शन सी बुक पैकेट ऑप्शन डी लेटर और पार्सल पोस्टेज विच एवर इज लेस द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी लेटर और पार्सल पोस्टेज विच एवर इज लेस Question number twelve. Blind literature weighing six hundred grams found containing personal communication inside it. Postmaster tax it for. Option A rupees one fifty. Option B rupees nineteen. Option C rupees thirty five. Option D rupees fifteen. The correct answer is option C rupees thirty five. Question number thirteen. Blind literature weighing six hundred grams. The sender wants it to be airlifted. What is the postage to be affixed? Option A rupees twelve. Option B rupees thirteen. Option C rupees fourteen. Option D rupees fifteen. The correct answer is option B rupees thirteen. Question number fourteen. Blind literature sent by Rotary Club to blind student weighing twenty grams. Whether it is allowed? Option A, yes. It is sent to blind student. Option B, no. It should be sent by blind person. Can be received by anybody. Option C, no. It should be sent by blind person or institution for a blind to other blind person or institution only. Option D, blind literature should be posted only. Institution for blind. The correct answer is option C. No, it should be sent by blind person or institution for blind to other blind person or other institution for blind only. Question number fifteen. One of the important condition for considering periodicals and Newspaper as registered newspaper is. It should be printed at the regular intervals of not more than dash days. Option A, thirty days. Option B, thirty one days. Option C, sixty days. Option D, ninety days. The correct answer is option B, thirty one days. Question number sixteen. To apply for registered newspaper, it should have. Option A, registered under RNI. Option B, published at regular intervals of 31 days. Option C, should have bona fide subscriber. Option D, all the above. The correct answer is option D, all the above. Question number 17. Whether the supplement of newspaper can be considered as part of registered newspaper? Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is option A. Yes. Question number eighteen. The conditions to consider the supplements of the newspaper as part of registered newspaper is option A. Contains only or part of the news matter and not fully having advertisements. Option B. Title and date of publication of the newspaper is published in each page of the supplement copies. Option C, date of the newspaper and supplement bearing same date. Option D, all the above. The correct answer is again all the above. Question number nineteen. The registered newspaper found with this enclosure will be treated as book packet. Option A: An advertisement sheet printed for an advertiser and sent to the publisher of the newspaper for distribution with it. An advertisement sheet with an order from attached, a prospectus with an application form attached, or a proposal inquiry form. Option C: Any document drawn up in the form of direct personal communication. To the recipient, such as printed circular in the form of letter, purporting to the addressed to a person by whom the newspaper in which it is enclosed is received. Option D, all the above. The correct answer is 
option D all the above. Here, the first one speaks about advertisements only. The second one speaks about advertisement sheets or inquiry forms and application forms like this. Option C speaks about communication inside the registered newspapers. Question number 19. The registered newspaper license valid for option A, one financial year, option B, one calendar year, option C, three financial year, option D, three calendar year. The correct answer is option D, three calendar year. Question number 21. The registered newspapers will have dash numbers of license numbers printed on the first or last page of the registered newspaper. Option A, 1. Option B, 2. Option C, 3. Option D, no need to print license number. The correct answer is option B, 2. That is, one is RNI and another one is given by the divisional head. Question number 22. What is the minimum tariff for the registered newspaper? Option A, 15 paise. Option B, 25 paise. Option C, 50 paise. Option D, 75 paise. The correct answer is option B, 25 paise. Question number 23. In case of publisher of the registered newspaper could not post on the approved date, he should seek approval for posting on other day from Option A, postmaster of the office of posting. Option B, in charge of the concerned mail office. Option C, divisional head. Option D, regional postmaster. The correct answer is option C, divisional head. Question number 24. Whether the registered newspaper bundle should be open for inspection or can be sent in a closed bag? Option A, yes, it can be sent in a closed bag also but content to be declared option b no it can be bundled but should be easily available for inspection the correct answer is option b it should be easily available for inspection question number 25 can the publisher of the registered newspaper can post to the new subscriber the backdated registered newspaper on the concession rate option a yes option b no the correct answer is option a yes the backdated registered newspaper can also be posted by the registered newspaper for a new subscriber but should be presented only to the window you can follow us by being a subscriber in youtube or through whatsapp telegram facebook thanks for watching if you have not subscribed please subscribe and be a beneficial thank you